going into more ranty subjects as usual the next door deli uh, and grocery store was which has been there since at least the early 80s was recently shut it, it closed down somewhere in the earlier portion of 2012 I'd say February or March now with that being said it was closed down so they could be replaced with another deli and grocery store now, the new owner is supposed to be a hip, young, not money bags type of guy, but rather someone who would really take the place to a new direction. And this new store finally opened up last month or the month before. Now, some problems that were notorious with the previous deli slash grocery store was that things wouldn't get restocked like there were still hmm I'd say snacks that were from a few decades back there, there were probably dust by this point uh, the floors were cracked especially the tiles the internal refrigeration system was spotty at best for some of the drinks that needed to be cooled down and in general the restroom the public restroom inside was just a small little pseudo cabin it was dark dingy uh, it, it, was, it was just like one little practically closet but with that being said oh and the prices let's not even get started with the prices it, it had the advantage of basically being the only grocery store in the avenue which meant that it had that advantage for a neighborhood that was basically full of bodegas and things of this nature that one was a monopoly so they charge everything a dollar extra or even two dollars extra mostly you, you can find a dollar and a half inflation which I never understood and of course besides having the really really hicky stuff it also have some of the Brahmin stuff considering the fact that I live next to I live really close to a university or a medical center that trains people in that Ivy League university. Regardless, besides the training facility and the shitty hospital, what really sucked is that um, that was my favorite place. I really enjoyed going there every day, stocking up on snacks. I think I made several live broadcasts through the 2011, early 2012 period where I was just eating the fucking snacks there. I think some of the YouTube videos I was also like stocking up on them snacks and shit like that. It was really uh, a cool place for me. I look way stoned here. now this new store that opened up it obviously has a nicer aesthetic to it. it it looks better the selection is similar there's some things added like Gatorade's been added not not sure why but it's been added uh, some stuff's been added it looks more Brahmin way more Brahmin uh, even a name has been made into a cheesy Brahmin friendly aesthetic like the other one was plain and it, it was just telling you what it is it's 
the avenue it represented and what it was, the grocery and the deli. Not the avenue, the the university that it represented, actually. That's a better word. University plus the fact it's a grocery and deli. Where this one is basically trying to be cutesy about the avenue name. And they made a pun. I don't find that shit hilarious. I don't. But you go there and the food's still inflated, of course, because they have that dominance in the area. But when I went to get a sandwich, yeah, the sandwiches were expensive, they were minimalistic, a little greasy, uh, the material was not so bad, but I loved the food, I loved what I got, what I got was good, and it was like, what, in the 350 range, two to four dollars, it, it was nice. But here, like, uh, the selection was a lot more easy to read. I went there, my, some of my little brother's money, since he wanted me to get him a sandwich. And I said, alright, I'll get you a sandwich, and I'll get some stuff for me, too. I got us, like, an Italian sandwich, basically. And this shit was really good but uh... when I got two I was charged with five ninety nine so basically six dollars for one of the sandwiches and I got two so that's twelve dollars about I'm thinking wow that's that's pretty inflated damn so I was like alright I got two Gatorades with me which both were two dollars so I was expecting just 16. So I brought up all the food to the lady in the register, and the register is like placed in a different location on the previous store. And she says, uh, alright, all of this is, and she's struggling with the cash register thing. Kind of lunch over, trying to see what she's saying. And it's a uh, 33 bucks and something something cents. So I'm pretty sure my old eyes bulged out a little bit, knowing me. I'm like, yo, what? I wasn't expecting to come in having to have that much change on me. I mean, logically speaking, for two sandwiches and two drinks, that shouldn't be amount to 33 bucks and something cents. Oh fuck you! What's the time on this? Maybe it should go around um, some other range, but she said, "Oh no, 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 this thing's fucked up. I'm, I'm so sorry." So um, she recharged. It turns out it was sixteen bucks all along. I'm thinking, "All right," I coughed up the change and went home and I ate the meal. I'm thinking, "Well, this is a really good sandwich. It was an Italian BMT kind of. Yeah, I could have gotten a foot long at Subway." for five dollars plus tax more food granted I don't like Subway and I actually liked what I was eating here but uh, it, it was uh, less food for more money and basically we're essentially paying for the aesthetic so I'd, I didn't like that I spoke to my little bro about that since, uh, that was that, and he was kind of surprised about it. We were making jokes, uh, some of the jokes we said, uh, this sandwich must have been prayed by a rabbi, uh, it must have stabbed Jesus with this, and you already know what happened with the sword they used to stab Jesus, it turned to Lance of Longinus. Longinus, that, that's, that was pretty bad, so it, it, Jesus must have done something, he must have basically turned Ritz crackers into this sandwich, or, I have no idea, um, basically all religions prayed for this sandwich, that must be why it's so expensive, but I mean, that was the end of that, later on that day, or the next day, when, uh, 
one of, one of my one friend of mine actually dropped by and he said, Oh man, that, that store keeps fucking up. I was there a while ago and I got some shit and and the register they had to type that shit they had to write that shit by hand what purchases I was making because they kept fucking up with the prices. I'm thinking Yeah, damn. So them niggas keep fucking up. I'm sure you guys are wondering why I'm ranting about all this shit. And the answer's simple. Them niggas fuck up way too much. Like I had to make a video about it sometime in the future. Just because that was some good shit shit but like I don't feel like going back there again man they're gonna end up charging me over nine thousand for this fucking meal they're gonna come back and they're gonna like ask me like replace my organs put myself on dialysis for this food I ain't doing all that bullshit and earlier this day on Facebook uh, someone posted a status that said that uh, and this is a tangent, actually. A girl gets her marijuana over-the-counter from a grocery store just asking for an over-the-counter counter sandwich. So she takes out the bread and the bag of weed is in there. I'm thinking, well, the sandwich itself can't be really impressive, really. It's probably just two crusty ass buns, and when you take it out, um, there's a sandwich right there. Because they doubt they're gonna cook an egg and put it on the plastic bag. It, it, it's just stupid. So I'm thinking six dollars a sandwich. They could have at least done that. Probably like gave me a a neck or something. I'm not asking for a dime, I'm not asking for a pure cut of marijuana, uh, sativa, no, not really. I'm not asking for any of that bullshit, but, man, that, that was like, really? For 350 I would have gotten myself a bacon and egg sandwich, and that would have satisfied me. Because I love that. I, I just love anything with, um... Greasy as me. Call me disgusting, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Regardless, uh, this has been a long ass fucking rant. I'm gonna take this lighting off now. It, it served its purpose. Uh, this is Mr. Wonka 7, and. I'm thinking of something to say. Hmm. Because I know what you guys want me to say at the end of every fucking video. But I'm going to, like, reserve it this time. What's a good substitute for those famous three words? Hmm. Maybe I don't have to change the fucking words. Maybe I don't have to, like, uh, change the words. Maybe I, I just have to change the language. So, Mama Guevo, Mama Mi Pina, uh, or Pene, I don't know, um, and, yeah. How about that instead? Let's go a little bilingual.